Mm. The only compromise is yun nga, mawawalan sila ng sure uh, late game scaling maliban kay Ling. So nope, they're gonna give Outplayed a more comfortable hero, a more traditional gold laner, uh, especially in this current meta game specifically, it's gonna be the Brody, na medyo may sagot naman sa isang Saber. Kung nagkakitaan sila. Again, I think that's what makes Brody so strong in this meta, no? Yung potential niya na sumagot sa mga mangda-dive sa anya with that second skill. Wolf, after that Brody pickup on uh, Outplayed, anong chances nito? Uh, yeah. Are we seeing a lot of collapses on the gold lane? Papa yeah, for sure. Plate? Oh, for, for both teams. Uh, for Outplayed, uh, um, para, dito sa, this is going to be 1-1 one -one versus the Brody. Hindi ako, hindi yeah. ako piyansa na ma 1v1 yan sa bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Still have Cobra, yeah, yan, pwedeng Miko to have Ruby. Imposible maging 1v1 yan. <laughs> hindi yan mapayapa. Walang mapayapa yeah. gold lane dito. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Specifically against the 1-1. One -one. Um, for sure, ang Omega dito inisip, never, wag natin bibigyan ng uh, proper timing itong 1-1 uh, one -one kasi it, it will be a problem for them in the end. Kasi, although meron silang ways para i-burst down yung 1-1 one -one, courtesy of the Farsa tsaka nitong uh, Ling, wala silang lockdown na, na reliable. The thing with Kufra is, surely, maganda siya pang uh, lockdown, pang CC. Pero hindi siya ganun ka-reliable. May chance sa pang ma-out, ma- uh, dodge. Lalong lalo na kasi merong cleanse mechanic, may uh, anti-debuff mechanic at one time. Tinan natin kung ano mangyayari. Early game pa lang ba? Bakba ka na sa gold lane. Let's go into the match. This is game number three. Sudden death. An elimination is upon us. Next to Evos versus Omega. And here we see Gedo Forward. Si uh, Eto Max at Chak Nuno. Oh, mahanap agad. Level 1 si Chak. Hello. Oh! And it gets oil. Hindi talaga mapayama to. And... I like it. By the way, something na hindi pa natin masyado na mention. Si One One ay mas magkumanda na yung laning against squishy heroes. Dahil it's a patch. It was months ago na. Pero ngayon na pwede siya manalo sa laning. Oh, oh no. Medyo na hirapan. Close. Could have punished on Cadenza. Pero mga first blood dito, si Etomax. Na ginamit niya ng Purify niya. So, early on, especially before big team fights, Okay lang naman, pero that's a good start for next three Evos. Yeah, amazing start even. Tapos yung top lane pa ay na, naman sa mga yung That's why I felt, um, uh, Leo, mas maganda yata kung ipinar sa talag ng Omega Esports yung top lane. So that, kasi yung laning stage naman ng isang Farsa, hindi naman siya ganun nerf. Kasi more on dun sa ultimate, yung nagkaroon ng problem, pulled out with this Farsa. And Brody versus the 1-1, one -one, like I said, possibly maging 1v1 to, there will be an influence of the Rovers. But in a 2v2 setting, mukhang mas lalamang pa rin yung 1-1 one -one because of the the, the buffs earlier. Na, na bago kasi yung passive ni 1-1 one -one, na hindi na siya percent based yung bonus niya kapag meron ka mga weakness na, na, na the proc more on ano siya, raw damage na siya, which is more oh. effective on the laning stage, particularly Lurdy against low HP heroes, katulad ng Brody. Yep. So kaya at minute one pa lang, no, kanina nakita natin lamang agad, nang iingalo na oh. si Outplayed laban kay Donut. So let's talk about the XP lane, that's where people are here right now. That's gonna be H2 threatening the triple sweep na napakasakit, lalo na full stacks kung tinatama ka pa ng Shuriken Send, uh, extra basic attack here and there pero false engage yun wait lang chak no chak mamba jumping down ato ka dendra popping the velen air strike eto max on the response neither team here confident to take the turtle so medyo mo delay hindi siya clean 2 minute turtle ay may nga hinahanap ng next week sa omega by the way naka inspire etong si donut that's why naka uulti ano niya hindi kinaya ng flicker so definitely nagwala doon si Outplayed what happens now is kapag nag-inspire ka kasi madali mo maabot yung 5 weakness points tapos eventually makapag-ultimate ka that's why after mag-flicker ni Outplayed nag-pop agad siya ng crossbow and now he gets the corrosion sight 3 minutes in 3 minutes 3 minutes mas mabilis pa sa fast ika nga ng mga kids grabe to I can't look at it 2.4k 2.4k in 3 minutes. Ganon ka lang. So ilan yun? 2.4k. GPM agad. 2.4k. Parang bigyan mo. Kunin mo yung farm ni Chak mo at ni Ryzen. Pagsamahin mo. Ganon kalapit. Yung isang farm ng isang hero. On Donut. So, 
an amazing start for Nitro Evos in their gold lane. Baka maulit ang game one wolves. Parang ganun, na parang the gold lane will buy time for the rest of the... For, for even Haze! Specifically Lilith! Baka ganun yung mangyari! Baka nga, baka nga talaga. Now Omega Esports, how they, will they fix this? Uh, ma maganda na start agad para sa NXP. But then again, if you're looking at the overall gold, maganda naman para sa side ng Omega Esports. It's pretty decent. With uh, just a thousand gold deed para sa NXP, it was still much, very much doable in this game. However, si H2 meron ng Hemtasis. So, if you take advantage nila yung early stumble nila dito, and they will keep on pummeling Omega Esports with this early game item choices para sa NXP. Ooh. NXP, the, the game's in their hands right now. For some reason, laban sa Omega, nakahanap sila ng paraan na kahit mahal yung lineup, nagagawa nila ng paraan. Parang gets nila yung windows ng Omega Esports eh. What about Omega Esports? What about Omega? Anong kaya nilang gawin dito? Anong dapat nilang gawin? Mid, wait for the mid-game spike? Na, nawala na ba yung window nila na mag-dominate early? Well, for me, ang uh, kaya-kaya pa nila, na outplay, wait for Heptasis 2. So gusto nilang lumaban, gusto nilang sumabay. Meron silang uh, na dragon, meron silang uh, uh, Yu Zhong. And also, another way para makapag-engage the property is this... Uh, Ito, mag-shock connection. Ito, masakit talaga. Oh! Wait lang! Toy Lapad Memory na beaten! Pero ngayon, napa-overextend si Ryzen! He wanted to get that kill on Cadenza, pero hindi niya nagawa. Sinalo siya ng tatlo. Welcome to the jungle, sabi na Nekle Evos. 3-0 lead. Hirap ang Omega Esports mag-engage. And it's gonna be a free turtle going over to John Postolonga. Oh, wait lang, no, not at all. And dito, that's gonna be a Sandwich C1 Nebawe overextended that one one. Then again, Yung Kiki Ryzen is a very unforgivable para sa side ng Omega Esports. So, but the extent sila don at nakahanda kasi in three for sweep. Kudos to H2 for holding on to that ultimate in the right moment. No purifies like some name, wala rin siyang way para instantly matanggal yung stun na nung triple sweep. That's why nakuha na yung burst down. Isa pang hidden combo dito ng NXP EVOS is yung passive na makikita natin mula doon sa Saber na meron siyang bonus na um, armor penetration which also allows Donut to deal so much damage to anyone na makakapitan itong uh, Saber. And so far, hindi pa natin nakita umaari ba si H2, ha? Namimili lang siya ng engagements niya. So, so far, what's led to this 3-1 lead, uh, and again, about 1,000 gold ahead, it's yung threat of activation pa lang. So, hindi pa to totoong uh, nangyayari yung effects dapat ng Saber ni H2, pero ramdam na ng Omega Esports, so we can see how they move on the map. So, super exciting. How will Omega Esports recover? And we know them as the uh, team... As a team na puro na late game talaga, na masters of the late game. So, nag-iisip na sila ngayon. They're trying to troubleshoot na dito, uh, Leo. Nag-iisip na sila ng ways para ibalik yung favor sa atin lahat. Ito na, conceal play mula kay Chuck. So, Ryzen nga lang malayo as well as ito ba. Oh, triple sweep underneath tier 1 up top. The burst onto H2. Tempest of Blaze, no match with the dash. Ni H2. Si Donut pa rin makakuha with the crossbow of Tang. It's a double for... So not a triple for next play Evos, walang sagot ang Omega. A very disconnected start mula sa Omega Esports yung chance to conceal play. Melt na doon si Ryzen pero ang dami nyo sa NXP doon. They didn't have Farsa. I would have preferred ang Omega Esports na i-activate nila itong si Chakto with the Farsa in there. By the way, ang ganda ng decision doon ng H2 na tunayin si Brody. At ako nga siya ng triple shift kill. Eventually, he may know that two kills of the very important heroes. Oh, look at the swing back. Wolf, naghanap ka ng bawe and there you go. Kapitan Etomak serving it up right there. Right after we get back from the live, uh, from that replay. Uh, playing live right now. May bawe doon. Two for one though. Mahal pa rin. Binibigay pa rin nila si Chakno. Pero, you know, you try to recover where you can. That's gonna be a free turret though, down bottom four, next play Evos. Red team yep. turret has been destroyed! Economically speaking, mukhang nakakalamang ang NXP Evos with two turrets. They have taken at overall, meron sila 2.3k uh, uh, na lead. But then again, that's the combo that you're looking for. Oh, that's enough damage. I wonder, oh, kasi may uh, tenacity. Uh, oh, actually, hindi siya naka tenacity, but wonder kung naka Athena shield na itong si Cadenza. That's why he was able to... He managed to survive that. Um, he dominates ice and just and the magic boots. Yeah, yeah, warrior boots. Tough boots, tough boots. 
on the way, on the way ang kanyang Athena Shield. So, um, again, next play Evos. They're so ahead. Next play Evos in control. Nagaanap sila dito. Death Bush not gonna look good for Omega Esports. Magre-retreat sila doon. Abang, uh, sisimulan na itong 8 Minute Lord. Lord at about a third of its health. Umabound din dito si Ureshi, drawing a line between Next Play and Omega. No contest. Again, if you're ahead by what, 4,000, under 10 minutes, malinaw kung nasaan yung gold, malinaw kung nasaan yung lead. Looking at Ureshi here, not dying once, pero talagang offlane play. Yung ginagawa dito ng blue na ito. And of course, you have Donut sitting at 4-1-0. A dominant 1-1 na naka-inspire. Talagang all-in siya sa plano nila na magkaroon ng mid-game spike at yung early game spike yun. So far, it's going to be Oreshi on his own, just like me for now. But up top, it's going to be a hard push. Hindi malabo na baka umabot ang inhibitor nito. They haven't popped that uh, inhibitor shield feature, so baka ma-wipe pa itong wave na ito. And that's going to be a five-man defense by Omega. So you're not going to let it happen. But that's a push down bottom. Two-thirds taken wow. single-handedly by Oreshi. Grab it. Uh, super off lane to see Oreshi. Zero, zero, zero. Oh. Wow! Donut! Wow! Ooh. One only! And just like that, ang tinatrabaho ni Donut ay mga hero. Easy take down on the Chak no kamutikan pa. He outplayed doon. And just like that, they're gonna continue. There's a wave crashing down on top lane. They're gonna take down this inhibitor. Wait lang. Dragon form dito ni Renzi. Turn apart memory! Not enough stacks placed down on them. And they're gonna try to knock him up. There you go. Full stun. They bow with the H2O. The Saber is taken down. Better there, strike. Kuresh is still alive. Nina siya pa kasi pa ni Ryzen. They get two kills for none. And nabuhay pa yung inhibitor sa taas. A clear win. Maybe signs of life for Omega Esports to come back. Sobrang ganda nung ano ko Omega Esports. You can see the defense. However, Donut really flexing his muscles here. Yung command niya with a 1-1. Would have preferred na mas valuable pa kills, especially after using the battle spell at Chai Ultimate, but it is what it is. Nice uh, defense coming out from Omega Esports and good punish. Di mo din talaga pwedeng i-deny na malupit it's rising. You see that zigzag movement na lalan sa lot yung kanyang pinakita doon on this link. And he's able to get the uh, valuable kills for Steven. Road to recovery para sa, syempre sa Omega Esports. But sa next play, they don't really need to panic whatsoever. Meron pa rin silang good late game. May 1-1 pa rin sila. I love the fact that na grows gold meteor siya para meron siyang mm -hmm. defensa versus Omega Esports. Now, they are slowly uh, trying to... slowly oh. getting into four. Sandwich play! They were looking for a counter-engage pero sila ang na-sandwich ng next play Evos. Two free kills outplayed in the middle of three. And eventually, Chak nung hindi na kinayanan yung barrage ng next play Evos. And that's going to be another threat of a push in mid. I don't think even Ryzen would dare fight Donut 1v1. 6-1-1. And you see yung uh, combo nung uh, uh, one one pati nitong uh, Saber. Look like hindi yung tank yung uh, chin red nila doon. Sobrang bilis. Like I said, the passive, which is armor penetration para sa Saber, all stacked up together. Ganda na pag-isolate na doon kay Chakto. Then eventually the first down doon kay uh, Rody. Didn't even stand a chance against NXP Evos. At merong uh, Lord. Second Lord na, na napakalinis na nakuha ng uh, next play Evos. True. Truly, um, take advantage of their lead. Gusto na, ang gusto natin sa next Evos, eh, they're holding on. For sure, yung top lane, um, pwede mo siyang i-attribute as a stumble, but so far, everything that NXP Evos is doing right now makes total sense. Yep, and if anything, yung top lane, pwede mong sabihin, nag-decide sila na teamfight na lang para baka rekta ang finish. Eh. So, uh -oh. kita mong merong ambition, Stop kita it, mong may plano. Yep, kita mo yes. plano, but now I think yes. slowly but surely ang gusto ng gawin na next play Evos ulit. Uh, up ang lahat ng battle spells, up ang lahat ng ults, and it all comes down to this. Ang plano ng Omega Esports will take them here sa ating base. Pero sa harap ng isang Luminous Lord na may uh, sabi natin enhanced attack into the turret, something's gotta give that can inhibit up top going. Red team face turret has been destroyed. Gata nung pagkaasabay-sabay ng lahat ng lanes ng NXP Evos looks beautiful. Now they have taken your top lane and may train your own. Sabay-sabay ang pag, sabay -sabay pagbasag. Pero, again, you can never discount 
the clear on in fire sa kahit na hirap si Kapitan Eto Max 1, yeah. 2, and 3 um, ang daling buildan yeah. ng depensa ng Omega at in isip ka lang na isang magic defense and then all physical so it, 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 it's a uh, stuff to be Omega right now so ang um, maganda dito uh, I honestly thought na masyado magiging feather gear strike pero naubos din pala yung mga minions so they still can engage Na nanakaw yung orange buff, dating sa wall mag is buff right na, uh, na na-update siya. Then again, the fight's uh, just really just dancing between both teams. So I, I just wanna say, yung uh, orange buff ngayon na nadagdagan ng uh, penetration, valid na siyang i-consider na ibigay sa mga gold laners in the latter portion of the game. And obviously, dahil ang AMXP ay sobrang ahead na ngayon at kinokontrol nila yung mapa, binigyan nila ng orange buff etong ating 1-1. Uh, Oh no! Dived underneath their inhibitor in mid. Renvio is gonna fall. Eto Max is gonna fall. Ryzen, hindi na kayaanin pa. That's gonna be a double kill for Donut, ladies and gentlemen. This rivalry is close to coming to an end. Outplayed, missed action, and another hit. Game three goes to next play. Evos Omega Esports is eliminated from the national team selection tournament. There's something today, Leo, that tells me na araw yata ng mga rookies and outplayed, showcased yung kanyang prowess with the 1-1. Second pit 1-1, going for Inspire. At ang ganda nung game it was almost perfect. Ang ganda nung kanyang uh, selection coming out from uh, Donut. You can see, yung battle nitong gold laners natin ito all throughout the series was really good. But in the end, nag-super 1-1 siya. Dun sa Hindi mapayapa. Hindi mo pa yapa at si at si Donat ang namayag pag yun ang nangyari doon. Oh, I I can't believe that we're showcasing uh, yung kanilang prowess dito. Like Donat and Outplayed, and I'm basically na nagduelo in this particular series. But in the end, this uh, yun nga, tatag natin super one one ni. Eh. Lumipad na doon sa under the turret and was managed to reset. And get a kill, diba? And we know na dal meron na siya ng orange buff na may added na na damage as well as mm. penetration. Dahil dun sa mga updates natin from the previous patch, maybe what that was what three weeks or uh, four weeks ago. At kita kita natin yung uh, bonus na damage yun in the latter portions of the game. Afterwards, na halos maliparan niya. If I'm not mistaken, Leo, apat o lima yung na ultihan niya. And then na close out lang din ng NXP Evos with that. Beautifully executed game.